Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50 second round match. And we've got two of the best to ever do it here. We've got Ducky with three championships versus Vela Hoppia with unfortunately two. Um, <laughs> in the booth with me is <laughs> Yudlagar and Daedalquist. Hello. Hello. Um, the commentators, not two of the best to ever do it, but they have played goblins before. <laughs> I, 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 I have won a game in playoffs. I've won. There you two. go. I've, I've got two. It's just as good as them. Two. There you go. <laughs> um, that was good. That's just as good. I think I'm also on two wins in Chalice. There you Might go. be on three. There you go. Don't recall. Uh, <laughs> Ducky's got Wood Elves. Uh, really good TV, team, 2000 TV. A couple of Edge 5 dancers. Very good. Obviously, you're going to qualify if you get two Edge 5 dancers on a run. <laughs> uh, Wait, I'm being better than Chalice. Hey, there you go. Uh, I'm better than you, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> couple of guard, a couple of guard uh, things, move up thing. And uh, yeah, he's, he's got some injuries, though, hasn't he? He's got quite a few injuries on his team uh, with various Just players. He's carrying the strength one catcher still, isn't he? The blood stepper at the back on the left. Yes, yeah. It seemed like he forgot about it as well in the last game. It really did seem like he forgot about it himself. Um, it feels like you maybe don't need him for this matchup, but I don't know. What do I know? I hate him so much. It's a good point. I'm going to put him down to 12 men and saved him a lot of TV. And Veli's got a... Uh, bribe and a babe and a wizard so i guess it wouldn't have stopped the wizard right um but it would have stopped the bribe and the babe which maybe the bribe makes that a wash that strength one guy um potentially i've got a tackle pommer here and some strength and some garden like you know it's a decent team like yeah. humans are kind of all right aren't they against what else the problem yeah, is of I've course heard it said that they're the bashiest team in the game yeah they kind of are against woodies right against like woodies and like against woody specifically because they're strong enough to be the strongest team, and then they've got obviously more tackle and mighty blow and everything, and like they're super yeah. fast for a bash team. So like, they're, in a way, they're the best bash team against Woodies, but of course, they're still not Woodies, so it's not that good. <laughs> yeah, I mean they have the the massive drawback against Rats and Woodies that they're not Rats or Woodies, but <laughs> they're probably the best team to stop Rats or Woodies that isn't Rats or Woodies. Yeah. A very sensible sentence. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Instant... Unsensible move from Billy. Uh, one in nine in there. Yeah, um, a blockless block. Before yeah, before his tackle pop. Um, gets this done. And also blocking mm. the push for additional blocks from, from the tackle Yeah. Yeah. Mm. A lot of awkwardness about that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Maybe he just thought he had to have that guy gone before anything Yeah, else. to cover up the uh, the edge uh, to to make sure that they couldn't get past. They just jump over the top. And uh Yeah, well you can blitz this catcher, can't you? Like he's a guard catcher, you could just blitz him and run around, so his hyper aggressive uh, defense means that um he can he's Feels like he can't follow that uh, in, case, in case it's a straight removal, which I'm also not sure about. Yeah, probably just think, thinks he can't afford the pile as well, right? He needs the tackle zone, needs to not get taken out. Like, if you remember, Muppets, Muppets uh, Killer got taken out, didn't he? Like, uh, I didn't, didn't watch the Muppet game, I just heard you say that he was shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he played shit. <laughs> 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 I'm in the background, but I was so focused on my own game uh, that I was playing. So no, no offense, Muppet. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome for me bringing it up again. <laughs> but yeah, like if he if he follows there, then then you know if he if he doesn't pile, then he, he's totally wrecked, isn't he? Like it's, he just can't afford. You can't afford. Yeah, him and he's, I mean, he's I guess you're only. AV8, right? But, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, it's way too easy to get removed. And but even if he's not removed, like he'd still be put down, you know, and and then like tagged with a crap line on, and then you know this guy probably gets bliss and like come through the middle. Like it's, I think he, yeah, I think yeah. he couldn't afford, couldn't afford that. 
And they, they might even knock it down and foul it. That might be the goblin culture me talking. But if you follow there, you get pushed back into the wood elves, don't you? With mm. that angle. And Ducky does love a good I, foul. I, 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 I don't like. Do you foul that piece as the wood elves? You maybe do. Maybe with your strength one capture, maybe you should have fired. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I can hear we've got very much a goblin player with us in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> Every player on the ground. I mean, they can... it's not vital to be winning. Can't we use it to foul? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, there'll probably be no foul this turn with the, the three stuns, right? Because like, you'd really want a big, yeah, yeah, yeah. big old gang foul. Wouldn't you? But we're, we're going to, okay, we're coming around, we're getting a bit of pressure on. I don't watch any fods this coming year. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the year, that's the, that's only like there's only like fifty days or something, isn't there? Just don't watch them up it. <laughs> oh, interesting. I thought maybe he would have blitzed the uh, catcher and come down the side. I mean, restrained. I guess that's what Belly anticipated, and that's why he put the reroll in. And Ducky must have deemed that with the ball in his hands, he's like too likely to just be able to cage it, even if it comes down the side. So trying to push that side isn't worth it. Yeah, it's interesting. And you're getting... he had, he, like he would have got three people down here and. No, he could have. He could have got the whole thing across, more or less, couldn't he? I don't think he could have gotten the full screen, and that's why he didn't to do much. Maybe because like one layer of a screen doesn't really do anything. True. You just push but through the, it, and then but, your you know, team is on the wrong side. It gets in the way a lot, doesn't it? Like it's it's interesting. This, but this this way protects his dancers, which is which is the most important thing, isn't it? He gets to punch the uh, dirty player, which could easily wreck his entire team, right? Mm -hmm. That's one of the scariest players that uh, is on oh. the team. And he could still pom, he could GFI pom the dancer still, which he might do. Mm -hmm. Like, the strip doesn't matter because he's got sure, sure hands. But it's still a nudge five. He's got two sure hands as well, hasn't he? He's got a backup in case they get one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I think this this move means he's definitely blitzing him, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But he he can do all of the safe moves first, <laughs> and then maybe he's done with all the GFI. <clears throat> Good math, there, Mingle. A million percent. <laughs> <laughs> I I, I, th I think I think this is slightly why I preferred what you were talking about with blitzing the catcher and, and coming down both sides with more players. I I think kind of sending the three on their own, it, there's not too much to deal with about trying to get the ball safe for the humans, so they can kind of make this GFI blitz without too much risk almost. Yeah. I, I, f I feel like if you had a whole line of wood elves here, then you kind of got to focus a little more on keeping the ball safe, I think. But you don't, you don't really have to focus that much anyway like it's it's just too easy um and then once he's past you you're on the wrong side and getting like that means belly can decide where and how ducky can move the screen up and, and the screen's not going to be affected for two to three turns after that so like it, it's it's risky we can't double layer the screen, we can't cut them off properly. So I think yeah, it, it just gives them something to... to worry about, though, doesn't it? The, the thing is, it gives them something to worry about, and like this didn't give them anything to worry about. Yeah, and, that, and, I, you know. I agree with you, Daedal, but I, I, I think you maybe could have kept both war dancers in the backfield if you were going to try this kind of move. Yes, yeah. I mean, what, what you wanted to do was punch the, um, punch this guy, uh, punch the uh, blitz. A dirty player. Dirty player, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, that's and the that's true. Yeah, yeah. To do that was the, but he could yeah. have just done, he could have yeah. just done it without block, right? He could have just blitzed him without block. It could have, but 
Like when yeah, the cost is you exposing your like your joint best player to a tackle palm, instant yeah, tackle palm. I think he was a little bit careless. I don't think he counted on him being deep. Mm. But what I, what I think was his main concern was um, protecting the majority of his elves um, and making sure that these three that are, were stunned comes back into the game without really having made yeah that's the thing yeah the if, if they weren't all stunned then obviously i think he would, would have had a more aggressive turn yeah okay and now obviously this this gave him the uh, so now the entire the human team is pretty like has fallen back from the line of scrimmage right so the screening is going to start way sooner like the up screening and it's got 11 players through it yes this looks brutal now to get through this for a uh, for veli I mean, honestly, it could have been down a war answer, so yeah, I mean, it was risk, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, I, as I said, I, th I think it was careless from Bucky, I don't think he cut it. Yep, they are fast humans. Humans? Humans. Humans. Human. This is going to be a tough, he might have to use his wizard to score here. Really. Which I'd be okay with, to be honest. Like it's not, it's not ideal, but if you've got to, you've got to, haven't you? Like it's not great on defense, the wizard. That's the problem mm. against elves. It's turn two. No, it's Inarian that would have been three 0 up, Chavita. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what happened was uh, G Kelf, um, the uh, Ducky ran around the back to blitz the dirty player with his dancer. So then Veli blitzed the dancer, and because he blitzed the dancer, he just like he just moved everyone else up and around to make the ball as safe as possible before he blitzed him. No way. No way! <laughs> There's not a lot of pressure on the humans here, so it maybe it maybe is a case that they can maybe try and be a bit standoffish and trade blitzes with a view to using the wizard to break through at the end. Could, mm. could be a, an option. I guess maybe if it progresses a few more turns like this, elves might be might be a bit more aggressive. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. And like, obviously, you want to just still, be like. It's still early, like, isn't it? Yeah, it's very early. Like, this is what you want to do as the elves, isn't it? You just want to screen them and then make it uncomfortable for them, and then they've got to engage massively to make anything happen, and they might expose the ball. That ogre might go stupid one turn. Like, yeah. you, there's there's all sorts of things. Like, you just want it to go on a long time with plenty of space behind you. And then you can't really lose then, right? Because if they if they potato, you just dance them. So like, you just do this, and then they've they've eventually got to commit to try and breaking you open. And then, mm. and then if and then you you can always just leap in, can't you? On a two plus and one D the ball yeah. and yeah. <laughs> and get it win. I mean, yeah. you're very happy if it continues like this, where you're not even taking attrition. Mm. Like this is the dream scenario for Ducky. Yeah, he's gonna have to push in at some point. Ripples. This Pomer is rolling shit, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Valley's got to start rolling better. He's got to get the ball forward somehow. And the elves have a movement nine catch on the bench as well, albeit without sidestep. Yes, yes. So even if he does score, he might just get scored on. Move nine, sure feet as well. Yeah. And he's got no stand firm, has he? Just the ogre, like no extra ones. So he's got guard on both corners now. At least that's why he moved that guy out and that guy in. Oh, and then he just realised <laughs> that he's got to stay there. <laughs> Hello, Enzo. Yeah, pretty safe to put the ogre in, but he's got to start mashing in, hasn't he? He's just got like it's stupid that you've just got to brainlessly mash in. But what else can you do? Because if you yeah. don't, it'll just 
you, you'll you, get you, nowhere. Yeah, you can't just leave the elves completely free every turn to reposition how they want, can you? That's unless unless you start getting some of them off the pitch, that isn't that isn't going to go in the favour of the humans. No, <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> This I, is... think, <clears throat> I think he, he had this turn as well um, to not like go dumb dumb dwarf herp derp but yeah um, to, to like sort of experimentally prod somewhere um, a bit of probing try get... yeah it's <laughs> what we need a bit of probing how, how much did the humans have to spend on inducements here was it uh, two th were they 300? 300 they spent. 300. I don't know how much they had. Oh, we're just going yeah. straight in for the one. Thinks his screen is good enough. Yeah. Oh, this is very aggressive. Mm. Yeah, but the thing is, if you, if you think the screen is good enough, as it is, then it's the perfect time to go for it, isn't it? Because if you get yeah. the bow, then you've got everybody to react to it. So. Yeah. Well, y yes and no, because if that if the war dancer falls on the ground, it's not it's getting booted, isn't it? Yes, but I mean that's a one in thirty six. Yeah, like, well, it's not really one in thirty six, but you know if you want you've, to, you've yeah. you've got to leap in and dodge out afterwards, aren't you? Three all, one in thirty all... sixes, three separate. Yeah, yeah, three separate one in thirty sixes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's got to leap in. He's got to one D the ball, and then he's got to dodge away. <laughs> so four separate one in thirty sixes. There was an incredible recovery on that, I don't think. Like the mm. sidesteps, the sidesteps of the south. Yeah, they, no, they, well, the, no, the like cat that, can come round, isn't it? Yeah. It, it can uh, bounce. You just, you just and, don't know where it's going to go, yeah, because he's probably going to mm. sidestep to here, isn't he? And then it could easily not be caught and scatter out. Yeah, yeah. and then you have to add fives that can go somewhere and try to pick it up. But yeah, I mean, I didn't think that was a great shot, but. Like it's it, when you want to go is when you can move him for when you've already got a good screen. Yeah, yeah. It, and you, it was yeah, just the yeah. principle of if you've got a good screen, you can go for it because then everyone can react after, after yeah, you recover yeah. it. Is, it's brilliant, isn't it? Whereas like suddenly yeah, you just when you screen everything, you move you move nine players and then and then you're uh -huh. like, all right, this guy will blitz, then this guy will recover. Is a bit shit, isn't it? Uh, like that. Yeah. Thinking about it, it's not. It wasn't bad, was it? it I was kind of thinking it was low chance of it working and if it goes wrong you you may be losing one of your good pieces but i think you're right i think it was a it's low risk, uh, low, low risk enough to be go worth going in yeah. it's dead like you'd look at jimmy fantastic there you go <laughs> 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 okay Happy era, happy era. There you go, there he is, look. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Excellent. Fantastic. Like, like I said, happy era. Professional. <laughs> oh, wow. Australian bastard has come up on the, uh, on the auto mod. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we can allow that. We can allow Australian bastard. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, wow. He finally gets the knockdown with a pummel. And pums to basically no effect. Yikes. He had the but chance to like hit these two, didn't he, a little yeah. bit, but then he's strength four, so he's not easy to hit. So he, he, he could have yeah. like hit him with guards and then blitz this guy somehow, and then he could have maybe hit him, but it's, it's tough, isn't it? Like, he's not getting ahead anyway by doing all that, yeah. is he? Uh, it, the it's... issue here is that he's not making any forward. Like, this is just a sideways blitz. Yeah. I mean, I get it's a guard and without block, so it, therefore it's like slightly more value punching that uh, because you're more likely to get it down and after having not gotten anything down for three turns that's your main priority but well your main priority is penetration isn't it yeah, yeah I, it I, should I, be it should be i think by by turn four i think as a human you you really want to be at the, 
You can still be in your half, but I think you want to be two, two, three squares further forwards. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's not, it's not like an, you're not, you're, you're not for you, man. It's not a normal you. It's not true, human, true. So. It's fast and it's got leap, hasn't it? But yeah, I think you're. You're not going to be able to run him on his own, though. You got to get the whole team through, haven't you? Yeah. You know, and there's uh, no removals as well. Like the, you, yeah. you know, there's no. Yeah. You've got the whole elf team in front of you, and you're yeah. fucking five squares back in your half. This is horrible. This is it absolutely is horrible. horrible. You're not totally panicking yet, but We've if you stay in the, well, you, look. if you stay where you are here, then it's. You've got two. Can't games stay here another turn. Well, you're not going to because you lose the ball this turn anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you're not staying here another turn. He's just giving him 2D on the ball. He moved the guards away. I mean... Yep. Choose! <laughs> Wait. You think that's deliberate? Do you think he's trying to get him to no. run in through the back to leave a hole? No. No, I don't. I, I, well, if it is, I think it's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> Because you've just seen him come on for the 1D, so you know he's coming yeah, in for yeah, a 2D. He's, he's going for it, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Can we get an EC in chat? Wow. <laughs> I mean, that was so close to just losing the, the whole game there, wasn't it? Because he's still, as I said, he's still got all this in front, so like, it was fine, even if it yeah. failed, wasn't it? Sidestep choices. I, I think I, that of the three, that was probably the one I ruled out straight I'm away. Not sure about not that dodging way. out this time. It's where more your men are, though, isn't there? Like if you if you go here, you you can be re like although you've got guys next to you, like yeah. you're, you're so far away from these players. And if you go here, you've got guys in front of you that like. So I think this is you've got this is the one where you've got like the most men around you. Yeah, it's the idea. Um, Hello, Nolly. Thanks for the raid. Glorious. Yeah, I, may, maybe the maybe the Wood Elves are fast enough. I thought with the three the three that have moved at the back, if you threaten to come to the left side, whilst having the handoff threat to the right side, that may, maybe the Wood Elves struggle to cover all of the options. Do you start off with a blockless block as well here? Mm, maybe it's it's interesting, isn't it? Because like. You, yeah, you, like you are up shit creek, right? As the humans, that's the thing. So, like, while this is maybe like the safest thing to do because you're near most players, you've you have got to engineer a way to score. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you, ha you have you have to point. move this turn. You have to move this turn. Yeah, and that's why I think you have to start with a blockless block. Um, why not this one? This one, then blitz, and then run up the side. Oh, uh, maybe this one. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, you you do you really want to like? Not punch that war dancer. Oh, I hate that blitz. Yep, me too. The war dancer's got sidestep though, Dale. Yeah, I don't yeah, think you're, he... you're not taking the one. You're not. You're punching the other one with him. What this dancer? The catcher. The catcher behind. Oh, it's not a catcher. My bad. Yeah. I thought it was a catcher. Get rid of the guard so you can punch the dancer Will with you... the. I... Um, you had a yeah, three. Yeah, you, you had you had a three die on the strength one catch and then yeah. side step from yeah. That's what I liked. I like blitzing forward you're off. with the tackle. Yeah, I like blitzing forward with the tackle. But then of course, if you do yeah. that, you like you're more likely to get turned over and scored on. So it's like at this point, maybe now you've got to think about just not losing, right? Like not losing this half is maybe what you've got to think about rather than scoring. Like this is you're in such dire straits here. Maybe you. Oh, maybe what you should be thinking is, how do I get in at nil nil, rather than how do I get in at one nil up? You know. I. I. Yeah. Okay. But I. I think if that's your strategy, you've got to try and take out that war dancer on this turn. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's what he had to do because this I, if, is if, like if, half if, and if, half, if, isn't it? Here. If, if your game plan is go in at nil nil, you've got to just get that war dancer off the pitch. Both dancers. <laughs> Well, yeah, but you've got to get both of them, haven't you? This matchup becomes easier if you've killed both of them, doesn't it? That's... Mm. So Slightly. <laughs> so he's more or less got this. I think a couple of GFIs, he can, he can uh, make a cage. Yeah, two GFIs, and he's got like a loose cage. He's got the guard around it this time, hasn't he? He's taking yeah. all three guard with him. 
Yeah. And I guess to be fair, if he blitzes this if he blitzes this one with three dice and he doesn't palm, it gets worse for him, right? So maybe that's yeah, what he thought as well. And this got this pommer up and active and supporting, so I mean you still had two re rolls for four turns. I feel like you could have you could have put a re roll on that. He's got to make the GFI. Exactly you put a re -roll he's on made him. He's done, you're, he's done you're based on tackle. Um, the ball is based on tackle, so you can't put a you, I can't put a re roll into punishing the the strength one. Uh, yeah, fair. That's fair. Yeah. All right, he does the dodges out to get this guy in to actually make it a cage? Glorious. <laughs> it's nice. Very nice. Really nice. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> It's <laughs> <laughs> the one uh, removes himself, classic out bashed by Wood Elves. <laughs> oh god. God I hate Wood Elves. Billy is super happy right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Got one. laughs> oh man. But at least he's got he's got in front, but now obviously he's got a bunch of players that can move around and get in front, so it's not it's not exactly. Yeah, but stations. you're no, uh, it's it, not, but you it, made it, the progress, like, you've started, like, yeah. the scramble um, for a score. It's, at least the ball is not instantly in your end zone if you lose it. There has to be rolled a couple of twos. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Hello, <laughs> fan folks. What amazing insight from Diddle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? What what do you do as the Wood Elves here? Do you just kind of base every? Do you just sit on everything? You make, you make sure that you got enough guys I in front. Blitz again. the I blitz the strength. Do you go or, back? Or go or back to playing passively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For for this turn, right? And then screen off these these four. Knock down all four of these guys, and then get them get your shit up here, so that these four can't affect the turn next turn. But then you'll be able to zoom back, won't you? That's what I would do. Maybe don't knock this guy over. I don't know. It's hard. Maybe, maybe just run away from these two and knock over these two. Because this guy can run all the way up there, can't he? And then this guy can run all the way up there. So run these two back. Run him around somehow. It's not great though, is it? It's, it's somehow not going that. Like this was a I guess. It was somehow this was a good turn for Bay, as it looks. Looked a bit crap, didn't it? <laughs> Just getting a fight. I guess his, his next turn is when it's going to be a struggle for him. Yeah. yeah. That's what I meant. Like, everything's a scramble from here on out. Um, oh, Le with, with the lack lungs. of removals, like, it's never not going to be. Well, there's a snake. And now. Uh, Julie, he, he's got um, the whiz, he's got a bribe, he's got a. Babe as well, I think. Yeah. Yes. Oh, th it's 300k. Yeah, 300 I, I, I'll just answer a random question from chat while something exciting happens in the game. No problem. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. Yeah, Dookie's team is about 2050. So, uh, and and Veli's team about 1800. Hello, fanfox. Um, uh, Veli's team isn't great, right? He's he's only got the Pommer. He hasn't got any more Mighty Blow apart from the Pommer. Um, this Blitz has only got Dodge, no Guard on him. He hasn't got Guard Tackle. Like, Dodge Strength Guard is good, but... Like, Guard Stand Firm Block. Like, it, it's it's good, but it's not amazing, is it? No. Um, but it's, it's kind of TV efficient, right? Yeah. Um, you got one of everything. So, unless, like... So as long as they stay on the pitch, you don't need much more. Yeah, as long as you've got your tackle um, palmer and some yeah, stuff. And the ogre is great. That is a perfect ogre. Yeah. Do you activate the ogre this turn? Because you could use him as the back end of the cage, could yeah, you? Yeah, you could. You could move just in range to score. Um, like, uh, I guess. You, I guess you gain a lot. From yes, doing this. Yes, it's so uh, good yeah. moving the cage here. Like it's so and, good. And the worst case, if the ogre stupids, you still got guard on both corners. Hey, you still had the dirty player to go if the ogre didn't. 
Yeah, yeah exactly. So you, you can you can corner screen with guard on both corners uh, if the ogre is in the house. You just Venga bust there and then use the tackle palmer to palm something? Yes, I Venga busting does look a good idea, doesn't it? Hey, um... <laughs> Wait, you don't have to take the quad skull there. Yeah, I, I would have rather just finished off this cage first. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> All right, jump's done. <laughs> I guess I guess he wants to use the strength the four stuff. somehow, but yeah. But I think feel like you know the dub skulls you'd have to re-roll in, wouldn't you? And then leave yourself a yeah. re-roll, which is and you could have quad skulled and just lose. Yeah, exactly. Like if the idea was to free the strength four to have guard on all the corners, you shouldn't move the dodge the dodge piece up to the top first. Mm. Do the blitzer before you move anything. I think in that case, yeah. You, you could have you could have done the tackle palm and left the cage where it was before you moved it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He just yeah. he just defending yeah, the yeah. ball yeah. is super easy. Yeah, that was that was very weird, wasn't it? Yeah, it doesn't doesn't seem entirely in it. Yeah, that was that was definitely. But it's, yeah, yeah, because you just do how it's how it's. Ended up looks fine, doesn't it? This oh, looks. I guess you could see if the ogre worked, but then even then, even then, the other the ogre not working doesn't matter anyway, does it? Because you've got other players there as well. So yeah, the the, ta the tackle the tackle palmer wasn't going to get up where the cage was going, was it? It was yeah. like from from where from where the humans were two turns ago. You you, you would take amazing, this position. Yeah. You would take oh, this yeah. position, wouldn't you? Holy shit, would you? This is unbelievable. Like they they gone from they went from two D giving away two D on the ball with tackle. Yeah, this this, this all this. went it all it all went from laying the trap for the two die on the ball, wasn't it? Yeah, like, I guess that, it was. That's <laughs> what, that's, what, that's what got the wood out after. Mm. Like when you when you're playing in a game where you where you it's going that badly, sometimes you just gotta let your opponent fail something, haven't you? That's, uh... Glorious, yeah, a glorious Lord, space cadet. <laughs> Until I'm victorious. <laughs> That's what it was, wasn't it? Was, this is the this I is the absolute defend. textbook application of space oh, cadet. Oh, oh. um, thank you very much, Macintex, for the glorious prime sub. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh yeah. Yeah, the the elves, I, I, like Shadow says, I, I think the tackle pommer being left out here potentially could be a bit of bait to tempt the elves into taking this. You know, if Els feasibly could just let the human score here, kill the tackle bomber, and then one turn and win the match. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't feel bad, but I, I like I like what the humans do, leaving their one of their key pieces away from where the action is. Uh, I I, I kind of like like that move, leaving this tackle bomber out of the action. Mm. Was he J five? I've never heard of him. He's only I think he's only one of the most famous American people in history. Yeah. <laughs> Do you play baseball or NFL? <laughs> <laughs> Hand egg or rounders. <laughs> <laughs> netball or rounders, there you go. <laughs> Did he play netball or rounders? <laughs> <laughs> I do think it's funny that Americans play playing netball and rounders. It's mad, isn't it? Really. Baseball, probably. Baseball seems really boring, doesn't it? I mean, cricket's it boring so enough, but fucking boring. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 my brains out just thinking about it. <laughs> I'll I'll happily watch cricket, but I don't know what it is about baseball that I, I can't get on with it. <laughs> so I I used to work in a bookie, so like any sport that lasts five days, that's like that's all you allow to watch on TV. So any any sport that lasts a week, that's your working week gone. So I got well into watching cricket and golf and all that nonsense. <laughs> baseball was one that just oh man, <laughs> nothing nothing happens. <laughs> yes, Swaver. <laughs> 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 
I, I love it at the end of NFL, they always go, world champions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So now it might be an idea. Well, it's tr- tricky, isn't it? I guess, do you blitz the catcher first? The strength one catcher with tackle, see what happens? Because you could just not move, right? Uh, not move your ogre. Like, I really like not activating the ogre. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, you don't you don't need to move the cage at all here, do you? You well, he like the catcher can score if he's got the ball on the next turn from where he is. Yeah. The thing is, like, you're in perfect position to score, oh. and stalling just means the dice on the ball in a worse position to try and score next turn. You you can can you leave the wood elves with two turn? Yeah. No. Like, no, but, I think but you it's can't shit. score. <laughs> Everything's shit. Like you don't, you don't, you definitely don't want to score. But not score. I, I, I guess. I, I, I get. I, I guess if you do, if you are relying on the ogre moving, you could come to the right a bit, and then you could three dice the catcher with the tackle piece. Mm. That's what I like. But I guess this is okay because then you only need the three, don't you? By going here, but it's a bit. It's a bit risque. Can you double screen this? I mean, it doesn't work, does it? Because the other, the tackle war dancer's in range here, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Don't they both have tackle? They both have tackle. Yeah, but one's one's got strip as well. So one yeah. one's the tackle dancer, <laughs> and one's the stripper. <laughs> I see now. Because you can't, Kevin you can't Jordan. get the the problem with going where he has is you can't get enough guard pieces over there. Yes, can you? yeah, that's the you, thing. You can get the players in, but you can't get the guards in. Yeah, you can't, you can't you can cover the front of, you can't cover the front of this with a guard now. Well, you've got the catcher here, so you can you, this catcher can can probably get out, and this Olga can, you know, do something, maybe. Or or the, or the well, the, can the Olga get to the front? If you if you Nearly. blitz if if you blitz oh, the kicker through. yeah 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 that's that being good blitz the kicker and put the auger at the front of this oh shit he's just doing that and a tackle G on the wall the auger in to stand two squares to the left three squares to the left to the front uh, of the cage. Oh, who's blitzing? The tackle pom must be blitzing. Oh, that's okay, I guess. Yeah, you must be tackle pumming this guy in a four plus. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I mean, he shouldn't have failed it, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure I liked it either. Yeah, I mean, he can, he can 2D the. He can do 2D the catcher, can't he? I mean, I think I don't hate it. Um, I mean, maybe it's the same as last time. He just rolls the pushes and then he can just step in, can't he? But, yeah. I mean, it's a tough turn. Like, I think you probably yeah. just have to suck it up and rely on the ogre, right? I think that's probably what you have to do there. It's, it's like gives you the best. But I, I, I think I staying know. staying where he was was better, in my view. I think it went yeah. for long term equity. Uh, in terms of like winning the game, getting rid of one of these dancers is pretty key, right? Yeah. yeah. Dealing with two of sure. those for an entire game. Yeah. Just... I think if if he didn't have to dodge to hit the dancer, I'd like this a lot more. Like I know he was seventy five percent to get two D on the dancer, but if you if you just guaranteed the hit on the dancer by doing this play, then I like it more. But yeah, either this stay is... where you are or blitz through with a troll uh, with the ogre. Or, but th this seems like. Well, I I guess to stay where. To stay where he was, he had to blitz. He had to blitz this yes. capture to stay where he was, didn't he? Yeah, he did, yeah. But this was only giving him blitz 75% of the time, wasn't it? Which was... As much as it was a really good blitz to take, mm. I'm not sure it was worth the rest. But yeah, I guess that's a good point. Chop up, yeah. Got to do the attrition because winning the first half won't win the yeah. game. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's probably... Now, uh, th I that's what I mean. Like, he's... he's Playing for like long term equity, like removing the strength one is important enough. Yeah, I guess I guess with where he's put the ball now as well, if if he does lose the ball here, it's a lot harder for the elves to score than if it was yeah. in the middle of the pitch. Yeah. If if it does go wrong here, 
Maybe you can still get in at nil nil. Yeah, maybe. But you might even still score, mightn't you? You might just be able to pick this up and still run it in. Yeah, but now the elves might just. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> might just it's, get it as well. It's two uh, plus scatters. two. Two plus two plus two plus, yeah. and that's it. That's yeah. Maybe it's a bit shit when you don't want to do it with a dancer. So you like two, three, two. Like there's a lot of dice there, isn't there? I haven't used the reroll yet, have they? Oh yeah, they haven't. I thought he'd use the reroll. He just, but he just used it dodge. Dodge skill on it. Yeah, yeah. All right. So with the reroll, then. Hmm. Interesting. It's puffed, isn't it? Like, but yeah, it's blocked his path. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's an Edge Five War Dancer. Maybe he's just going to jump on it, but. I guess they already have a couple of scoring threats, don't they, the Wood Elves? So yeah. they, they maybe Let's didn't... roll an extra dice so you can then hand off the screen. Oh, don't so They need to. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe you yeah, wouldn't want to hand off to that guy. Hand off the strength one. Yeah, yeah I, nice, I, didn't it? I agree. Yeah. Or, or those, two, those two pieces are the other way around. The strength one is the one as the screen and the other one is the one that gets the ball. Hmm. Two threats. Multiple relays. Not that you need them with Edge Five, <laughs> yeah. but if he gets if he gets smashed, well, it's looking pretty bad now. Zap, yeah. The problem with the wizard is if it scatters out of bounds. Yeah, then you might as well. You, the, it might be just as fucked, <laughs> yeah. and then you're the wizard down as well. So that's it. That so could, maybe it was the wizard is why he kept it right. If he handed off, then maybe you bolt and then you three dice this guy. Uh, so yeah. maybe he was thinking about the wizard. That's smart. That's, he knows what he's doing. Mm. He is better at this game than I am. Yeah, who would have thought <laughs> it? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, of the 150 guys and girls watching thought that Ducky was better than me. But this is the case. <laughs> yep, yep. We can safely say that of the 148 viewers and the three in the booth, Ducky's better than all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unless Ducky's simultaneously watching this. In which case I say, why the fuck are you watching this? <laughs> You will only get dumber. <laughs> why, why haven't you fouled the tackle pommer yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Playing <laughs> at least Belly's dominated damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a nightmare half of Belly, isn't it? Like he actually got forward yeah, as well, and then he not he still lost it, and he's he's been outbashed one kill to absolutely nothing. Jesus. Uh, I I I'm still not convinced by that run at the corner. I, th I think that no, was. I, I think he didn't need to do it, and it made it a little bit. Although, like we were saying, I I, I do I do think not it sure made it better staying where he was. Like it's it's, it's here, ma yeah, like it made it harder. Yeah, it made it harder for the Wood Elves to get the ball off him and score, didn't it? Losing the yeah. ball over there, but yeah, but it made it that much easier to sack, didn't it? So it's. I, mean, I don't know, maybe it wasn't that much easier, right? Because he did have to do the extra dodges and the GFIs and everything. And then, so while he got a 2D at the end of the 1D, maybe overall it wasn't... Maybe overall it wasn't even uh, easier to sack. Well, that's just made it him even closer. I mean, he... You're kind of hoping the Wood Elf Snake here, don't you? Yeah, that's about all you've got. Because <laughs> you, I mean, you can't, you can't really use the Wizard at the end of the turn here. I think I th it's still a waste. But then, if if the Wood Elf score here, it's it's I, all over, he isn't it? He blocked his path. He couldn't punch it from any other direction. Shall we? There was a guy on the floor. Or as Johnny Five says, spike bolt the ball carrier. But I feel like you might be able to spike oh. wizard both both of them later on. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, at least. 
<laughs> At least it was a badly hurt, yeah. so that's his apple gone. Oh, that was horrendous. What is this, uh, shit show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, isn't it just? Did, it, did he use the snakes up for the wood elves? I think he might have done. Oh, yep, there we go. There's the, there's the dodge, no snakes. There's the push, which is all he needed. So now this will be a 2 plus pass, two, well, 2 plus dodge. Can he? No, he's... Trying. He can bring the assist in to block the lineman again, away. Oh, he can't. No, his strength 4 wasn't easy. He, didn't, he, couldn't, yeah. he couldn't get 2D. I guess he could have just 1D'd it. 1D's better. No, it's not because he's got dodge. Oh, it's not. It's not. Yeah, and he needs to make the pass. So. Yeah, he's got dodge. He's no. rolling. There you go. That is almost GG. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much over. <laughs> That's that's a real shame for Veli because like it gone so badly hadn't it for about the first four or five yeah, turns and yeah. he got that great breakaway that followed by the snakes yeah. that like gave him a real good yeah. chance and then this is sort of what I meant with you don't want to score on turn seven but at least he scored <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah yeah I didn't think it was that bad though I I like just blitzing the catcher with a tackle and staying where he was and. I didn't think that was that bad, but I guess he'd already gotten away with a 1D on the ball and a 2D on the ball, so maybe he wouldn't have got away with another 1D on the ball, but... I mean, I don't think oh, you'd be that I, scared of a 1D on the ball, can you? I guess, I guess... I think you have to be. Like, it's a 5+, plus. like, 55% of the time, it gets you down with the reroll. Like, that's... But then yeah, how do you play the rest yeah. of the half, then? Like, do you know what I mean? Why not just going as fast as possible if you're that terrified of it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but wasn't that what he's trying to do? <laughs> to do like, wasn't that uh, that that was maximum progression? Like, <laughs> as soon as there was any chance to progress through the wood elves, he took it. Well, that's because oh, he no, came but in I, turn six. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't think he could stay where he was anymore at the point where he went. I, I, I'm not, I'm just not sure. Like. I, I asked the question, I, I posed the problem yeah, yeah, yeah. on turn 7 because I, I genuinely thought that so I, I just going to be shit next turn. And I'd be, by, I'd be well, this is the absolute worst case scenario, like, it's not entirely unlikely and we just saw it yeah. happen. I think I'd be more inclined to score on turn 7 if the Wood Elves didn't have so many sidesteppers. Like, if you if you can at least have a shot at a one-turn as the humans at, at the end of the second half to pull off a draw, then maybe... You have the, the wizard to, to get the draw. Oh, the like wizard... You have two chances that... Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stopping yeah. them, and then you have the wizard as well, like, up for the for the second half. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what, yeah. I mean, you can even use the wizard to stop the two turn. Oh, and you can get a blitz level. though. Yeah, that's something. Um, I, w I was just thinking if they get, they need a blitz to. Pretty to uncovered this corner, and he get the the edge up guy is on the wrong side, but he should still be able to get under this ball, right? He's got the sure hands piece though, hasn't he? The sure hands piece is one away. Uh, but the guard catcher, is he not? You can just, you can just dodge uh, through, he's so one, one too far the, away. The guard blitzer can get there, but the the, the non-sure hands pieces are all out of range, I think. One yeah, away. The guard catcher, he doesn't want to... Like, a sure hands piece doesn't matter, he wants to catch the ball. Yeah, but the catcher could have dodged through here and then... Oh, yeah, yeah, I, ju I, ju I just mean... Best, it? Uh, just mean, so you're not where you're just going to get strip balled by the war dance when the other one picks it up and fucks off and they score and go 2-0. Like, yes. you can't you can't overcommit to this unless you're gonna have the ball safe. Yeah. Otherwise, the Wood Elves just get it back and score. You sort of have to overcommit to this. Well, yeah, maybe maybe may, maybe it's your best shot, isn't it? Maybe it's your best yeah. shot, but yeah. Fireball the whole half, and then we've got a game. It's <laughs> 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 pretty much what has to happen, yeah. Oh, B and G. Yeah, yeah. If you could fireball the whole half, that would have been all right. Wouldn't even be that good, would it? That's the funniest thing. Wouldn't yeah, even be that good. Just enough for a four plus two on <laughs> one four plus roll in every wood elf. <laughs> it's but a like, tragedy. They wouldn't even be that good. I mean, it would be amazing. <laughs> 
it could potentially wipe out the entire team. I did that to like what great would have coach once. I can't remember which one it was, but I got the fu perfect five out of five fireball all cast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the pass back would be nice, Johnny Five, but I think he has to catch it first, doesn't he? He can't uh, pick it up. But like, you can you can get guard pieces here, can't? Can you? Can this catch a three, like, four, five, like six, this. seven, eight? No, it's on strength four at least. Yeah, uh, you can you can get a guard yeah, piece guard. hit yeah. near it, and then the the edge four catcher can can leap leap yeah. the gap. Yeah. Then try and screen it a little bit, and, and maybe, maybe at best, then the Wood Elves have a, a one die. Hmm. Yeah, because if you if you can get um, sidelined to him, then you have to punch from the other direction if you want a one D, and then you've used up both your war dancers. Because they they can't use up both yeah. war dancers; they have to keep one to go and get it and lob it somewhere, don't they? Yeah. They've got to bring the move. The movement catcher is going to be I mean, the one. It's a that's shit come ton of two brothers. Oh, th that's even better. Yeah, no, it's perfect. I didn't even think he could reach that far. Mm. So there he was one short. Yeah. So he could. This get... is great. So now it's so... three more two pluses, and then he's got yeah. a full eye cage. Well, he do, he, do, he he could he could even potentially screen he's just it. He's dodging. He's just dodging. He's just doing the four two. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Most likely to use your team rerolls. So yeah, you can, you can, yeah, you can fully, yeah, you can screen it, can't you? Another GFI. Oh yeah, and then go come in with that one. Yeah, maybe, maybe. You, maybe. To... You, do, you don't, you don't need it though, do you? The, this is as good as the screen is. Is it? Not as good. The screen well, would have been better. It's, it's not worth the GFI though, is it? Oh yeah, because he's already strength four, so it doesn't matter if you've got it. What angle you've got? Against a strength yeah. four, they, they're going to be able to hit it. Yeah, fair enough. Well, now it's yeah. now it would have been better because it would have been an extra tackle zone on the ball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because <laughs> now what one guy can just blitz the catcher uh, the, and yeah, pick it up. Yeah, still got a two plus pick up. <laughs> yeah. God. And for that, Veli rolled all of his two pluses for the entire half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just to still get fucked. It, it, what, it was it was kind of living and dying on that four plus catch, wasn't yeah, it? If you, if you yeah. can't make the four plus, this is this is losing the Which game. Which is why, like, I was so looking at uh, catcher under the ball. Um, yeah, yeah, give you, yeah, okay. Yeah, this this one would have been there, would have been killer one if you could have got this under the ball, and then yeah. it would have had show hands as well and not get stripped. It would be amazing, but he's just just too far away. He was he was one square away was the problem, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. yeah, just one square too far. Diced. Then could could you have had the catcher in the middle instead of one the of the sides? Too far away. The ball mm. too. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it was if it was just if he was just one across, he could have. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, he could have done. Well, I guess he wanted to have sized up on the edges, didn't he? But, yeah. Yeah. Um, Stop the um, ultra quick score. Er. Yeah, I th well. set, setting up for. Let's get a blitz. Otherwise, we lose. Is not the way to go, is it? Not really. No. no. In in hindsight, yes, okay, but but then like it it just it just feels like then, like he set up like to get quite good value out of a blitz. It's just unfortunate that it came like this. Yeah. Ooh, an, a, a, a extra a needless oh. corner cut by Ducky. I I thought I didn't thought that was a bit greedy. Like, wow. I thought it was a bit greedy because he could have just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He could have gone there, couldn't he? Ah, maybe there was an intercept chance. Yeah, yeah. Getting rid of the intercept is pretty, pretty bigly. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh, game we got on. A game. game we on. we kill we kill both of the war dancers and then we score, right? Oh, <laughs> oh easy. <laughs> Well, now you're saying it like that, and that does sound pretty good. <laughs> Pile on. But it, it feels like you do just run this in as the humans to me. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. 
I, I feel, I feel like you. And we got a removal. <laughs> yeah, because he's got, he's got, you've got the wizard, and he's got. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You're, just, your balls, you're just going in this. this... Best then you've uh, you've got to deal with this sidestep, haven't you? Because the ta the the tackle pieces are out of the way. Yes. Yeah, the sidesteps are main. Or do you go for the three plus pickup, but the Edge Four oh. catches catches base by a sidestepper as well, isn't it? So. Yeah. So you could just yeah, go yeah, one, two, yeah. three, four. I That's think you have to try and punch oh. the uh, the dancer. You could go no hits. Or you could just try and... Like, if you fish for a power on the dancer, you could also try and free this guy up and then go for a tackle bit on the dancer. So, like, you could just try and power the yeah. dancer and see what happens, I guess you could do. It is spooky to hit the dancer, but... But you also want to punch the dancer for the long term of the game, right? Yeah, uh, Barely. Yeah. Barely. <laughs> I, think that's a, I think that's a very minor consideration. I mean, you could have just bolted the dancer, couldn't you, and then make sure of it. Yeah, yeah but I think this is too good of a chance to like actually win the game, right? Um, so if you used to have, like the bolt here, you're giving that away. Yes, it. Yeah, it, it was largely a joke. Yes. <laughs> three, three, three. The score of the catcher. Yeah. Uh, two, three, three, two. Yeah, two, three, three, two. You could you could have used your blitz to try oh, and free. It's a three. It's a three plus pickup as well, Shadow. You, you could have used your blitz to try yeah, and hit the awesome. strength one capture before before going for that. I think. Yes. Yeah. I don't like using the um, blitz here if, at all. If if you, if you don't power it, I suppose it can sidestep onto the ball. Yeah. Yeah, now you're not punching it. Yeah. Now you're just. Oh yeah. I'm... Sure and dice. Yeah, it's, that was a tough one, wasn't it? I, I kind of liked, you know, blocking. When he put in that assist, I thought he was going to block here, you know, yeah, and try and power. Free off. And then, and then, but like, obviously, you'd have to roll a full power because he was a blodger, so you'd have had to full power him. And then, then you could have got the tackle, and then you could have blocked him, and then if you pushed him, then you'd blitz him with a tackle. It was hard, though. There was all, it was all kinds of crap, to be fair, to try and, like, with the two side steps. It was, but it's also. Like, I don't know if it wasn't just better to go for the pickup like he did. Yeah, I don't know either. I just... We're here to put up all the options. I'm uh, just going to call him what, shit what and run. <laughs> what plays are available, right? It's just... I mean, this feels shit, right? Well, That's yeah, twice. It was a one so in nine, right? Yeah, maybe it was maybe it was better just going for the dodges and the pickups without trying to move either. Hard to, hard to say, isn't it? I think it was maybe it's worth trying to free up the tackler to blitz the strength. I think I think it was. Or maybe even the pommer. Maybe you could have tried to free the pommer with like this guy. Um, I don't know how feasible it was. I don't know where the pommer was. It was one square to back left. What? Uh, there, that, yeah. So I wonder if you could have, like, freed up players to fill in these two and these two and chain the, <laughs> chain the pommer out so you could blitz the dancer. <laughs> but uh, there you go. It's an, the contest is now over at 2-0, isn't it? Probably. Oh, I, I guess as the humans you can try a quick score and then you've still got a wizard. Yeah. Yeah, it's not over. It's not over. It's not over. <laughs> Don't say it's like you, over. You, you're still you're up on rerolls. You've still got a bribe. You haven't you haven't really used any of your tools. I don't think he's fouled once, has he, in the entire game? Yeah, he has fouled once. It once. didn't break armor. It, there was the dirty player foul when he was uh, when he did that tackle blitz. It was yeah, just exactly. to stay in the middle and not move anywhere. No. After he finally completed the <laughs> the cage. Oh. Yeah, it's been it's been a tough game. You can start getting lucky, but it's probably going to be too late, isn't it? But yeah, he he has got like the quick score and then the wizard and the blitz and stuff. Like he's got some 
He has got some angles to get back in. Like he, like yeah. he was so close to turning over Tucky there and making it one-one. So yeah, you know, obviously he's not going to give up. He's going to battle his hardest. But uh, that's cool. I mean, and he needs another blitz that's in range of his players this time, really, doesn't he? That will be. <laughs> I mean, if it just caught the ball, right? Yeah, it, wa it, it wasn't straightforward if he catches the ball, was it? Like, the, the guard on the Wood Elves wasn't in nice positions. It was probably... It could have been an uphill. Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah, it, it was an uphill for the Wood Elves to get the ball out if he catches it. So. Yeah. I mean, which were 75% of the time, right? But still, it's something. Yep. Just heartbreaking having it slip away like this yeah. three times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, both times. Like he was so close to being two 0 up, wasn't he? Really. I mean, obviously, yeah. Ducky might have scored a one turn, but yeah. he was really close to two touchdowns himself. Yeah. It was nice that the Wood Elves filled some things to make it interesting for three more turns, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And, uh, yeah, fun and that's the thing, right? Like, I think Twitch weren't just weren't getting enough money from ads, so they've 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 made they've made it so that the streamers are so incentivized to run ads that they basically have to, <laughs> and then you know they'll they'll see what happens. Oh wow! Well, this isn't the blitz that he needed. <laughs> <laughs> This is not. This is not the blitz you were looking for. I mean, they've had one each. I suppose that's fair. Yeah, Artemis <laughs> is right, isn't he? Artemis is right. Look, so there was a blitz. There's another blitz. Diced. Oh man. Yeah, this is. Oh, this is too depressing. And Isla's like crawling all over me. So <laughs> I'm gonna take her out. <laughs> 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 Hey, Daedal, have you accepted your ticket for the Goblin Town tournament yet? Uh, what, did you send it? I did. I'll, uh, I'll accept that uh, as soon as I come back. That's like... Oh, you've got until the end of this game. All right, I'll do it now then, before we go. That is the sensible thing, yes. <laughs> Cheers! Sensible Daedal. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Said nobody ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's close friends with Calm Daedal. <laughs> so it's a, a GFI to get the catcher under the ball here, isn't it? Oh, God, don't say that. <laughs> all, all that's needed. It does have sure feet. Don't don't say GFI. Not not until not until Daedal's fully fully vacated the boot. <laughs> <laughs> it's only has to me to get the ball. I'm full in full support of this GFI. It's a, it's a nice screen. I must say that. <laughs> yeah yeah. There's no, there's no way that these these players are getting to it. <laughs> I can't see a way that the tackler reaches him. Yeah. But it's fair enough, isn't it? He keep, keeps his dancer safe and keeps him relevant in case you know. Yeah, that, that's that's it. You, you're worried about protecting your players at this point. You probably shouldn't put the movement nine piece under the ball, really, should you? No, true. Just, true. just, just true. ignore the blitz and run everybody back. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, honestly, defensive Daka probably the fit, probably the the best thing you can do. You, you could have just put three three linemen on the line of scrimmage and put everyone else out of blitz range, couldn't you? That's yeah. probably. That might have been the that might have been the best player. And they do still have a wizard, but I get accepted. Did you check my team? Was it legal? Uh, yes. I think it was. <laughs> I think you maybe had some more money to spend, but I'll I'll do that in the morning. All right. I just counted like eleven fifty, and then the four. Yeah, the I I think I think yeah I think you had like two more skills you could buy two more skills. Did I? Like, I took the edge up. That's four skills, right? Yeah, so it was four, four for the edge, two for each of the doubles, and you had ten to spend, I think. Oh, okay. My bad. Yeah, then I have two more. Well, I'll just uh, grab one more 
Can I still like level one up? Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, so you can change. I'll, like, I'll give it a level to one of the other goblins then. I mean, it's a Goblin Town tournament. I absolutely am checking everyone's teams like in the morning before the start of the game. So I'm fully <laughs> expecting everyone to change their teams in the next 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, we're getting Hail Mary Pass. It's going to okay. be shit. I'm going to be sad. Yeah, I, I did the same, and I'm thinking maybe Zash should have just been boring like Elliot and had no stars, oh. what's, no, no, no secret weapons whatsoever. I mean, you sound like people who aren't goblins and have never actually tried it, trialed a Hill Mary Pass bomber. It's like everyone says it's amazing, but it's, it's really not. It's so bad. <laughs> It's so bad. <laughs> it's argu arguably the most overrated thing in Blood Bowl. Yes, I, I agree. Yes. I have I have tried it before because uh, we had you know custom teams in uh, you know when they when they had the mixed the mixed race teams we had we had custom yeah, yeah, teams. Yeah, yeah. So I so I gave myself a Hail Mary pass bomber and it, it was absolute shit. <laughs> One thing it did do was sack. Um, Intercept. There was a season like a year ago. Intercept. <laughs> Didn't even need to there use catchy, they're just a straight six. Uh, there, uh, there was like a season like a year ago where I guess to another, uh, or Hiro Matsuo, or um, when he um, uh, had a like 140 game kill team, killer chaos team, that he was just sniping everyone with last day of the season. And he missed the snipe and got my goblins. <laughs> and I pitch cleared me. <laughs> and he pitch cleared me. Uh, and the Hail Mary Bat Bomber uh, saved me from going 1 0 down turn 15 uh, and made sure it was a 0 0 draw. <laughs> nice. That was one of the most glorious games I've ever played. <laughs> It's funny that the Hail Mary Pass... I thought the Hail Mary Pass one could be quite good, just the fact that you're like, you know, oh my god. Um, just the fact that goblins are a bit shit, aren't they? So, like, you know, being able to bomb with the goblins makes them a bit better, doesn't it? Yeah. That's so, so uh, like, a, a, I like a bomber in the goblin... In, in the goblin... Era. I think a bomber's quite good. Yeah. Like, so, no, normally I would take two stars, because I, I think three... You struggle to keep the numbers on the pitch if you've got three stars, particularly yeah. with limited bribes. But the fanat the fanatic isn't very good in a goblin no. mirror. Mm. Against any other team, I'd take a, a loony and a fanatic. But in this one, yeah. I would. Yeah, exactly. That's that was exactly bomber. my thinking. And also, like, I want to have fun tomorrow. It's more about having fun. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I have the bomb as well. He can do things. Um, I fear just fuck you. And you got you increase your odds of being lucky by 0.01% if you give him a mirror pass. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the sensible thing is just get a wrestler. I I was surprised not many people took the star bomber. I thought we would see more of the star bomber. I thought so too. It's just the tackler is too good. <laughs> and, and like the spending the slot on a secret weapon, right? Like that's good. the thing. Like no matter how good he is, he's still a secret weapon, even though you've got yeah. a yeah, yeah, yeah. And and the tackle bomber is just well, a tackle bomber. Yeah, I, th I think next time the tackle bomber might not be an option. No, it, sh it shouldn't have been. It was just <laughs> way too it, strong. Maybe maybe all, all, also under costing it was perhaps a mistake. But there we go. In living you learn. Yeah. Uh, well, Belly probably didn't learn too much from this game. <laughs> he learned that Armor 10 Wood Elves are a bit fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah. Which I think he already knew, to be honest. Yep. Alright. Uh, I'll uh, probably not be back in time for the end of the game, so uh, unless there are more games, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Alright, see ya, Daryl. Cheers see you later. for coming on. Cheers. Cheers. Right, this is, uh... Oh, it's the same as before, except now he's got to score twice <laughs> on the Wood Elves offense. Nah, it's the same as before, except even Elliot would say this is over. <laughs> it, 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 yes. <laughs> it's not technically over, but yeah, it's over. It's over.
I mean, the best bomber is Boomer because he's a dwarf. To, uh, find out more about <laughs> he's these a dwarf boobies. long beard. <laughs> he doesn't have to pass. He can just be a dwarf. <laughs> be like, look, I'm a dwarf. That's, that's the best. That's why he's the best. <laughs> Yeah, dribble slot gets better, doesn't he? In the, in in Blood Bowl twenty twenty, because the stunt he is is only for interfering with things, not for actually a ma it's not a minus one anymore, is it? So, but so there not, is technically a minus one. Not really, because he has the passing stat. So, in 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 the in current rules, he's agility agility three. Or yeah, so he he passes pass. Agility three and the new rules is passing stat is four plus, so they've just put the minus one for passing into the passing stat for them. Yeah, but it's not a minus one, is it? Well, it is because he passes on one less than he used to. Yeah, but it's so not a minus of... one for fumbles. Oh, but the, but they've changed oh, the I, passing I, chart, haven't but they? But it, yeah, yeah, but it's it's not. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, okay, it's not a minus one for so fumbles are only a one now. Yeah. A modified one is now this wildly inaccurate nonsense. Yes, yeah. Um, the 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 reason Dribble's not is so good now is his special rule is is blow it up if they catch the ball. That that's what makes him really incredible. Yeah, and mighty blow on the bomb as well, isn't it? Isn't is nice. Yeah. So you, you kind of have this total risk-free. Because it's all so. The other change is it's not a turnover if you knock over one of your own players. Yes. Yeah. So you like before you kind of had to do the bomb last because if it went wrong, everything you couldn't move anything afterwards. That was yeah. a turnover. Whereas now you can just do it at the start, and well, if it goes wrong, doesn't matter. We'll just play the rest of the turn. Mm. I I take dribble snot over a bribe in twenty twenty rules. Nice. Like, it's. He's that good. And you can get him for uh, Black Orcs and Orcs as well, right? He plays for quite a lot of teams, but yes, he does play for those two. Mm. Really nice. I, I think I've seen I've seen some tournament builds of people taking Skaven with Bomber Dribble Snot, yes. which is just fucking stupid, you know? <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 if this one thing Bomber Dribble Snot needs, it's four go runners to go and get the ball. <laughs> This ogre is a bit rubbish, isn't he? Needs I mean, to... he had a he had a reasonable game up until the. I mean, it doesn't matter now, does it? So, oh, true. like when it when what he was doing mattered, he was doing the right things. Yeah, yeah and he's got this hit anyway, so it's all right. But I mean, I mean, the real question is, is is the and 16 lightning bolt gonna kill a war dancer, presumably. <laughs> Yes. That's yeah, pretty that's... much. That's pretty much what anyone's watching for now. I think. Yeah, that that really is pretty much all that's happening now. Hello, PC. It is indeed. Yep, you can you can spot him as, as he is the black the black goblin, and uh, it's it's been. No, I wouldn't say good. It's been interesting, I guess. It's, he's got the, he's got these got the one turn now maybe still got to do the GFIs. It's been interesting, hasn't it? But uh... for the first half was good. The first two turns of the second half was good, and then that was it. Yeah, it's been a bit of a dicing, more subtle dicing. You know, it's armor armor ten. It's been an armor ten yeah. wolf dicing. Yeah. Is... And that was without the tree as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, they'll have the tree back for the next round. Yeah. We will almost certainly get removed turn one after <laughs> watching this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think Bonehead has ever been a turnover. Um, there might have been some part when they when they originally thought of the skill because like it started in the in like the Blood Bowl compendium and shit like. Not compendium. What whatever. Were they companions? Compendium. Well, probably compendium. So that's when it started, like that's when they created rookie big guys. Um, so it might have been, but I've never played a game where it's been a turnover. 
Uh, and like, like Howland said, so, like the the Wood Elves haven't made a lot of blocks, or the humans haven't made a lot of blocks on the Wood Elves. But I, I think they did quite a good job of limiting it. Like they, certainly in the first half, they they sort of had this first sort of three to four turns. The Wood Elves did quite a good job of just occupying space and making it hard for the humans to move much. And I think the humans were like. It, they were playing maybe a little more passively than I would have done, so they didn't base anything at all, did they? They, they were yeah, pretty true. much letting the Wood Elves move where they wanted to. Um, and they were relying on the one Tackle Pom hit turn. They were relying on that working and removing players. And that I think it was like turn two and three. I think they had a two die and then a three die that was all pushes. Uh, and those ones were what really hurt it, I think. Obviously, they didn't get anything on. The, they got stuns on the line of scrimmage, but nothing, nothing more than that. Yeah. Humans have to be the rocks here. Well, they are. They are quite fast, but I don't think they can fly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> of course, he meant orcs. I, I knew that. I was just being a twat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the hit. I mean, he got he got like to hit a dancer instantly, though, didn't he? Like that was a thing. Yeah, well, that's it. That was a, yeah. He, he 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 got that hit, and that was pushes. And then the I think the one after that, he three died to capture. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and that was also pushes. Yeah. Like if those are both removals, it's a totally different game, isn't it? But yeah. I, I like it. Like I I, I think. I, th I think they did well, like leaving the two die on the ball, that they could have the space to move forwards. It just didn't didn't work off in the way in the end. Oh, I hated that. I hated that. Like, <laughs> if that was intentional, I hated it. <laughs> God, honestly, like I guess that's one to ask Veli about because I fucking hated that. No, I, it can't. I don't think it, it can't have been intentional, can it? It wasn't needed. I'd like it, 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 it sure, it's surely better to not leave that and then try and roll a bunch of dice to break through on your turn, you would think. You would think so, yeah, because that was just too instant 2D with tackle with an edge 5 to, to, to scoop it back up and yeah. the whole team like still in front of you, even if it failed. Like, it was just, it was so good. So, but there's only two, there's two scores in it now, five turns, they've still got a wizard. Yeah, there's still a chance. If the elves can roll seven snakes in the next five turns, might, yeah. this might, might go to overtime. Yeah, and Ducky's rolled a few snakes, hasn't he, Like to keep it interesting. And, like, you know, easily yeah. could have been behind uh, with a bit of luck from Veli. So, like, the, yeah. the, those snakes have made it interesting. So it hasn't been all one-sided, like, in Ducky's favour. Mm. But, but ultimately, the crucial rolls of... So in, in in the new rules, of course, we were talking about that. The humans would have a halfling in this position, and they'd just bolt the war dancer and throw a halfling at it. Oh my gosh, yeah, that'd be that'd be glorious, wouldn't it? Just instant, <laughs> instant bolt and uh, fling toss. He might just bolt anyway, just to try it. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Do it. Yeah, it's in the rain. You might cas him. <laughs> Like the the Wood Elves really, I the Wood Elves here surely just run every player back. Surely you just full retreat here. I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting because if you retreat, then it obviously as wizard becomes more devastating. So I guess you want to try and give yourself an outlet to break away. So he's got like further to move the ball. You know, it'd, it'd, be it'd, be it'd be nice if we could see the apple used, so we have some jeopardy for the last three turns. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Look, making, making, making it look balanced on ones and skulls. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Glorious. Look at that. This typical, typically beaten up uh, Wood Elf team now. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yep, all the AV breaks. I mean, they started off the game with a bunch of AV breaks. It was just all stuns. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Stuns, stuns just don't get it done, do they? You'd rather not break armor, I think. It's less likely to put you on tilt, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit, but I, yeah, it's it's funny though, isn't it? Because the stuns like they they encourage Ducky to be safer, I guess. On yeah. The first turn, so maybe it was bad that he stunned. Even that might have even been worse that he stunned. Because I think maybe his Ducky would have gone like more high risk, high reward if they weren't stunned. Maybe. Yeah, I, like I, I feel this match up the Wood Elves didn't need to play high risk bubble. Like, it, it feels like a, they're a fairly strong favourite. Yeah. I, even if you just sit off the entire first half and go in one nil down, you still you still just bang it in and score again, don't you? It's it's it take the risk if you if you're going in after the first half one down. I think. Yeah, true. There's no there's no reason to go. High risk, high reward, but you know some people play like that anyway, don't they? Yeah, that's why I do. Yes. Like you know, Chunter, Chunter or Inarian or uh, Thomas T uh, or yeah. Luminous Light, they would have all just been like, "Let's fucking go." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, I would have liked not going crazy. <laughs> That's not true at all, Driver. Um, it was Russian. <laughs> it, I, Paraguay and Russian are easily confused if I've learned anything in my life. <laughs> oh, dear. I like that he's got this. I like that he's got this cage without the ball, <laughs> <laughs> because he's making no he's making no bones about the fact he's going to bolt next turn, <laughs> and this guy's going to try to score. <laughs> well, that, that yeah, the elves just run away, don't they? Mm. Uh, easily foiled plan. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the uh, strength one? Yeah. So you can bolt him, 3D him, and then thrower comes in, lobs it away. Yeah. GG. Oh, you just roll the one on the bolt. <laughs> I kill it. No. Oh. I was that, that that feels like I've wasted my entire evening to be honest. <laughs> the the only reason to watch this game was to see a war dancer die, wasn't it? So um yeah. Well now now he can just blitz the other dancer with his tackle pommer, right? Because now it's over. Now it's over. So now just now just blitz the other dancer. <laughs> I, I I did assume that the other dancer wouldn't be exposed. Mm. Perhaps wrongly. You would I feel think like that. So, wouldn't you? I feel like that could be a mistake. Mm. It's an easy two die with the tackle pom as well, isn't it? Where the guard is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's instant. Instant. It's not. It's not like the humans need to protect their players particularly. No. Oh, no, Veli. Don't give up on the game. <laughs> Let's tackle Pom. <laughs> tackle Pom. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand. No, I like it. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, like, he's... Maybe he thinks he can try and do something, but I, I think... It's, you know, it was fine to give up and just try and hurt the tackle, the hurt, like, yeah. try and tackle. Well, no, uh, well, there, was there not some crap about having to, like, 
put maximum effort into Chalice games now? Do we not have to, like... I mean, that is technically a thing, but it's more about, like, you know, just not picking skulls when you're blocking people and stuff like that, and, you know... Yeah, okay. Triple uphilling with snotlings to get them killed, things like that. Finally started fouling. Yep, yep. Good use of the bribe. Yep. That's why I don't like, you know, loads of people say, like, take bribes against elves, but the problem I have is, it's like, you know, you're normally, you're scrapping about the ball for the entire fucking game, aren't you? So, like, in a perfect world, yeah, you can just stun people and, like, you know, bang them all out, but usually what happens is you've got a, you've got yeah. a battle to protect the ball all the time or, or pressure them and you just don't get to tee off with massive yeah. fouls. Like, I, either you give the ball, elves the ball first, ignore the ball and just try and bash them and stomp on them, or, or you score and go 1-0 up and take the same approach, but it, the, the issue with that here is the elves had two on the bench, didn't they? So, yeah. you, you know, try, trying to win by just knocking them off the park was never really that likely. Yeah. So I, I, there is a dirty player on the human team, but yeah, I'm I'm not sure I love the bribe. No, I don't. But what, what, what do you take instead? It's, it's, yeah. the, it's the thing, I guess. It's like, what what else is there? Yeah, an apple, which you don't think you need. A re-roll, which I guess you could need, you know, with overtime, like a re-roll would be fine, I guess. And and Yeah. Uh, did, did, did the humans have two? I've got no idea how many they had. I think they might have done. Not certain. I've been paying attention, but uh, not not to that. <laughs> not to that extent that I knew how many rerolls were involved. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd, I'd like I don't know. I like maybe I, like um, you know. It's, it's not that I'm saying it's wrong to take the bribe or something. It's just yeah, that yeah, I, yeah, I just tend not to because I mean it, it. It makes it makes total sense to take the bribe, doesn't it? But yeah, yeah, yeah I just tend not to. I, I feel well. It depends. Like maybe I would have done against Ducky. Maybe this game against Ducky would have been one of the times I actually would have done, because normally I like I feel like if you take the bribe, you just you're just hoping that the game goes well for you straight out the gate, and then you use that to like snowball, right? Like that's basically yeah, what yeah. you're looking for. You're just banking on dicing them. Um, whereas normally I take you know say an apple or a, or a free rolls just so that I can like. You know, yeah. keep it as close as I can, and then hopefully I'll play better than my opponent or whatever. Or, but I guess yeah. with this, he, he thought the disparity of teams was just too much, and the only way he was going to win was yeah. by dicing, which was pretty much what I thought against PC, right? Like, the, I, I thought I had to dice yeah. him to win. So if if you think that you if you've identified that you have to dice somebody to win, then that's exactly the sort of thing where you should take a bribe. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I I guess there's a, a bit of chat about Team Scotland at Euroball. Um, I. From when I was talking to McNaughton, I heard was Team Scotland were trying to come best out of the teams that have never hosted Euroball so they could host it in the future. I think that's how they decide who gets the new one. I haven't looked at the results yet as to the, whether they achieved that goal, but I, I, I suspect giving it to Team Scotland, may, maybe not. <laughs> wow. Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> it would be it would be really good in Scotland, wouldn't it? Because we could all just go. That would be nice. Like, you don't have to fly a fucking Malta or some shit. But maybe in like five years' time or something, they might they might finally get there. Yeah, if you just wait for literally every other team to, to right. host it. <laughs> Hancock will have to be hosting it in his van before, before <laughs> Scotland do. <laughs> 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 oh dear. <laughs> they did come above the English and the Welsh, wow. A great night. <laughs> great yeah, I don't think England had a particularly impressive tournament either. A great, great night for, for, for a, nightmare. a great night for Purple Goo and Hellboy. <laughs> <laughs> or is that not what you meant? <laughs> or finished higher than, did you mean, Curlon? Irish Celtic Nations chance, there you go. 
Oh, dear. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? The uh, oh, wow, look at this. He's just gonna get. A, he's gonna get a fourth. His ducky. Um, yeah, the the clothes shop England team. It's it's a funny one, isn't it? The England team. But at the end of the day, they got the most tournaments and that. Um, so it's all right, isn't it? I mean, normally they win every year, so you can't like they can kind of like the face of the criticism. But if they keep playing and losing all the time, people might actually start to complain about it. Yeah, and they've been it's massive. Yeah, they've been massively successful. It's hard to be critical when they win all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's fair enough. If it isn't broke, don't fix it and all that. Yeah. But uh, no, uh, yeah. So me, me and McNaughton had a, a night out before the Berlin Open. He turned up to the tournament at six p.m. the next day, and I had a black eye and no memory of the night before. So that was fun. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, no need to foul the pump. Uh, yeah, that sounds that sounds typical. That that honestly, that probably sounds typical for a McNaughton night out. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there was a German person came out with us as well, and he split up with his girlfriend that night. So yeah, all fun and games. Everyone had a wonderful time. Oh God! <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh man! Was was that McNaughton's fault? <laughs> I, I don't. I, I don't. I, I don't know. To be fair. Because he's he's got form for that as well. <laughs> like I, I think even if it even if it wasn't his fault, he probably got the blame for it. To be fair. <laughs> oh, <dear>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I'm glad you fault? heard about that, Caroline. Because I all fuck off. <laughs> What if it was Judy's fault and that's absolutely, how he got the black eye? Absolutely no idea. <laughs> and that would be amazing that it was all your fault and you never knew. Uh, no, no, so it wasn't my fault because like, <laughs> apparently they like dropped me off outside um, Timo's house at like half one or something and left me there and I was fine at that point and then I woke Team up at 5am so between like those two points like, they dropped me off at the end of the street so fuck knows what I did <laughs> between those points wow. <laughs> oh, anyway I, I feel like this might be over now it could be yeah uh, I, don't, I, don't, so. I don't know don't say it's over he's got one turn all he's got to do is score one three turn. touchdowns so he could get a riot one turn and yeah. then um, <laughs> a, a, a riot and a reverse one turn, and then uh, and then another riot yeah. and another one. I'm, reverse I'm, one I'm, turn. I'm, I think I might not watch this and go and get a beer. I'll be one minute. Wow! Wow! Elliot will will be destroyed that you you don't think this is over. <laughs> you think this is over? It's still all to play for. <laughs> It's still all to play for. Three three riots and two reverse one turns. Absolutely easy. Or a blitz as well, because you still have another turn. And anything can happen. Don't say it's over. Yeah, the game could crash. The uh, the most competitive thing to do here for Veli is to is to take the absolute massive uh, absolute maximum amount of time here, the full six minutes, and then hope that uh, <laughs> hope that Ducky's game crashes. That is the technical Highest EV line, isn't it? Um. <laughs> there you go. If only had a power. Oh, there you go. Elliot <laughs> would ban for a GG right now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it's over, dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's not going to get any removals, is he? Oh, the blitz back for the extra, the extra assists on the fouls. 
not me, not really, because he would get the assist anyway, but laziness for me when making the foul. <laughs> it helps him be lazy when making the foul. Glorious. This is the strength one that he exposed. Yeah. Get rid of that fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I, I guess the, the, this wasn't a 4-1 victory for the Wood Elves, really, albeit it was over by turn 11 or whatever it was. It, it was a, a marginally closer game than a 4-1 would suggest. Yeah, it was, yeah. They, they could have easily been very up 2-0, like, right? It wasn't a million miles yeah. away at all from very good. I, 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 and it was competitive up to, like, turn 11 or something. It's, all, it's only been the last sort of... Bl the blitz from the Wood Elves was what really sealed it, but that's made the scoreline look maybe a bit worse than it should have done. Yeah. Yep. I, I think I'm I'm pretty safe, Caroline, that I, I think I might not have to face Wood Elves at some point. <laughs> I think, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. A bit unlikely to face each other. Look at that now, 16 AV breaks. See, by the end of the match... Yeah. And by the end of the match, he's made four KOs and two Kaz and uh, 37 blocks, and it looks like he's actually, you know, he's done a decent amount of bashing. But um, first half, made very few blocks, made very few AV breaks. Well, made a few stones, but nothing really relevant, was it? And then, yeah. Uh, it was just rough. It was just a rough game for Feli. Really close to going 2 0 up. Um, though, of course, you know, Ducky might have scored the one turn in between that. Uh, but yeah, they were just good. Well played, wasn't it? Very well played by both. Um, so there you go. Congratulations, Ducky. Commiserations, Veli. Thank you very much, Yudi, for coming on and uh, doing the commentary. Glorious to have you on. No problem. And uh, Dale as well, who was here for much of it. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.